Hey guys, how's it going? I like to mow here. Uh, this is going to be another video. Uh, we're at the farm again. Um, but I'm going to be doing a how to small engine video. Okay, so this is a Mantis tiller, as you can see. Um, and this is a Keyorts engine on it. And if you know much about small engines, Keyorts is Echo's engine from their older equipment that was the gray case equipment. Um, that was the brand they used in those piece of equipment. So uh, this one needs a new carburetor. Uh, it starts, runs, and then you throttle it up, it won't throttle up, which is a common symptom of a dirty carburetor, but with these small engines, to be honest, it's just easier to replace it because they're so small and it's easier than trying to rebuild it. And um, my grandfather bought a kit here. So it's got the carburetor. I'm not sure where he bought this from, but probably eBay has two extra primer bulbs, spark plug, fuel line kit, uh, and this is an, looks like an echo fuel line kit because it is an echo machine, two gaskets, and an air filter. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking this apart, and I'll stop at random, or not random, but parts, and show you, uh, show you what I'm doing. So to begin with, I'm gonna, you're going to need a gas can here. Uh, this is an empty one that he uses for mix, but we're just going to use this. We're also going to find a funnel and use that. Drain out the gas because you're going to need to take that grommet out of there. And that is going to be, it's easy to take out, but if you've done much work on these before, um, they're difficult to put back in. Um, so I'll just give you a little tip on how to get that back in uh, when we get towards that. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and start the time lapse and I'm going to drain out the gas. Okay guys, so now we got the oil and gas mixture drained out of the fuel tank. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is start disassembling it. Um, so we'll take this wing nut off here, holding the uh, air filter cover on. And we'll slide the cover off here. Go ahead and take your spark plug cover wire off, make it a bit easier, there you go. And that's the old air filter. Set that aside for now. The old air filter could definitely use a change. So, fortunately, we do have a new one in this kit that we got. Um, so now what you're going to do to take the carburetor off, go ahead and put my fuel cap back on here so that we don't uh, spill any excess fuel that's in there. Oh, sorry about the uh, shaky gat or shaky camera. Here. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take... Uh, if one of you want to squeeze the throttle. So squeeze the throttle. Um, hold on. Put let go. Okay, now squeeze. Actually... You push the throttle cable through, you don't even have to squeeze it. Uh, you want this little thing here goes in the throttle butterfly, which you can see down there, that little slot, you can just turn it around, pull that out of the way, and you're also going, we're going to take this off later here, this is where the throttle goes into the plastic, and we're going to take this off so that we'll loosen it up so that we can pull it out because it does go between the fuel lines. And just make it easier to um, pull off the carburetor. So the next thing you're going to do is take out these two Phillips screws here. They go all the way through the carburetor into the intake block back here on the engine. There's going to be a gasket between the air filter box and between the carburetor and the uh, intake block. So 
you most uh, most of the time you want to replace that, especially if they tear. Fortunately, we have those two, and I'll show you which goes where because they are different size. Um, once we start take putting it back together, I'll uh, show you where those go. Uh, and that's just about it for the disassembly. I'll keep going and stop if there's anything else I need to show you. Okay guys, so a quick tip for you um, when you're doing this, you take a utility knife and slit the fuel line if it's stuck onto the fuel line uh, on, the, on, the, on the actual carburetor, you slit it, then it kind of breaks it, the suction on it and you can twist it off or it'll just fall off in this case. Um, but if you slit, since if you're, especially if you're replacing the fuel line, you can just slit it um, and it comes right off. So just a little tip there. So to lessen the frustration if you're having that when you're working on this. So I'm going to go ahead and keep disassembling. Um, now I'm going to take apart the or take the fuel lines out of the fuel tank. And to do that, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver and gently pry and twist that grommet out of the hole in the fuel tank so that it will come out. Okay guys, so um, when you're doing this especially, when you're pulling this uh, fuel line and grommet out of the fuel tank, you want to make sure that you do not damage the, uh, damage the hole where the grommet goes um, because then you have to replace the fuel tank and then it, because it'll leak. Um, it will, it'll leak the, gr the new grommet will leak because the hole was damaged. Um, but if you're careful with the screwdriver, you can do it pretty simply. Um, so now what I'm going to do is start reassembling. First thing I'm going to do is put that new fuel line kit in because that is the hardest thing to do with this repair. This is also going to be just a basic tune-up on this machine as well. We're going to put a new spark plug in it. So, Anyways, I'm going to keep going on with the repair and I'm going to start reassembling now. Okay guys, so on a carburetor you have a suction and a discharge line. This is going to be the discharge here. Um, it's on the primer plate. You can see the primer bulb right here. Um, this is going to be the discharge and on Echo fuel kits. The discharge is the yellow line. Suction is going to be the long line that has the filter attached. And that filter goes down in the fuel tank and then this is just the fuel tank vent because Echo doesn't use uh, in-cap vents which personally I think is quite a good feature to have because the cap vents tend to plug up easier. This works a lot e a lot better. Um, I'm just going to show you on here when I so that when it's on there, it's hard to see. But um, when you're putting this on, try and put the fuel line in this orientation with the vent on the bottom and the suction on the left, left discharge on the right. That makes it e easiest. And your suction. With the, which is going to be the long hose suction is this one right here that's going to go on the bottom of the carburetor right here and your discharge is going to go right here so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back okay so I was going to tell you which gasket goes where the gasket that's going to go on your uh, um, on the block here is going to be 
this one here is going to have the larger hole and the air filter is going to have the smaller hole so that in this case this one goes on your intake block which is the gray one and the green one goes on your air filter block just thought I'd show you that so you know which one goes where Okay guys, so as you saw, that took a while, um, it took like 10 minutes to get that in, uh, but I just used a little bit of oil, I think this is just some assembly oil, um, and that worked well, just got it uh, enough oil so it would just slide in. Um, so now what I'm going to start doing is start assembling the carburetor. Um, and, whoops, apologize about the camera there. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling this, and I'll leave it on time-lapse. Okay guys, so as you saw, I just got the carburetor on. Here's the old carburetor. Um, and the new one is all together. Um, this vent you can just leave wherever. Um, it doesn't really matter where it is. But now we're going to go ahead and put this air filter on. And it just sits there like that. Um, now let's put the cover on here. And you want to get that screw. Oh, first, actually, we're going to put the throttle on for anything else, just to make it easier on us.
you can pull the throttle butterfly up a little bit so that you have a little bit of extra space to pull this little throttle cable in. Now you can test it, make sure it moves up. Yes. I ended up not taking off this throttle here uh, just because I didn't see a need to. I was thinking I need to uh, take it off if, I, if there's not enough space to get to the everything else, but it looked good, so I just left it. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and put this cover on. And make sure you get that screw out. That's the, th uh, th the idle adjustment screw. That doesn't adjust any of the mix of the carburetor. That simply adjusts the, uh, I the idle speed. So if it's too low and it stalls out at idle, you turn that in a little bit, it raises the idle. You don't want it too much though because then it will turn the clutch and the thing will run away from you when it's sitting on the ground. So that's that. Just make sure your choke is moving. I put a little bit more oil on the choke just so it would move freely. So now what we're going to do is put a new spark plug in here. Uh, the old one will find a socket for it. Um, I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found the correct size socket. It's a three quarter inch. I'm using a uh, three eighths inch drive socket wrench. So now we'll just go ahead and uh, take this spark, old spark plug out. There we go. Might be a little tight, but you can get it. So yeah, the old one could use a change. Can put the new one in. I usually don't ever gap, change the gap on them. I don't ever see a need to. Um, I've never had any problems, so I just usually leave it. Just tighten that down. Like that. Don't over tighten it, but just enough to keep it in there. Alright, there we go. So we're going to put some ga the gas back into it, see if it'll fire up. Okay, so now we're going to put the gas into it and see how it does. Got everything put back together. Put this gas back into it. Open the vent from the gas can. Gas can. And that was the gas that we had drained out originally, which is okay. Which is good. It's okay fuel, so um, we're fine to run it back in here. Uh, I just drained it out just to make it easier to uh, work on. And put the on, maybe. Okay. Make sure we're still in the shot. Yes. Now I'll go ahead and climb it up to get the fuel back up to the carburetor. Pull the choke, turn the switch on. Okay.
Might need to be retuned a little bit. check the spark arrestor and see if it's plugged up that's a symptom of it possibly being plugged up with carbon if it is then I will clean it with a propane or a butane not butane a, uh, just a welding or a soldering torch um, so uh, that's basically how you tune up a mantis put new fuel lines new carburetor on it if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a message or comment below the video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.